Hi guys, welcome back to Face Colouring. Um, I have some new books to show you. Um, I bought these from Etsy. They are Grazia Salvo books, the um, artist who did Flowers and Gems. Um, this one is called Kindness, Women of Flowers collection. And this one is called Loveliness, um, flowers collection two um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to review these separately even though I bought them together um, so I'll do the first one first now um, these are bought from Etsy you can buy them ring bound how I have bought them you can also buy them as a normal book um, with a binding um, you can also buy them PDF and you can also buy them in grey scale or grey outlines instead of black so I'll say no more and we'll get into the book right. first page on this one is just the title page then we go into the copyright on this side and this side it just tells you um, a little bit about him and a little bit about the book um, so you've got all the information there right the first picture is this one um, she's holding her hair with her arm up and she's got roses all around her and what looks like some sort of bubbles in the, the sky there now what I like about these is there's not a lot of background that hasn't been used so basically you're colouring the whole picture and you haven't got to worry about doing the background so that's one thing I like about these and I also like that he puts in the um, slight shading where the shading should go so if you're a newbie to colouring skin or anything then um, this is a great help so you learn where to put the shading um, and the same with the flowers and everything else on these pictures so that's one really good thing second picture is this one and again there's not a lot of background to worry about um, you could do a, a tiny bit if you wanted to um, like sky or whatever if you wanted to do that um, but again this got the shading in and flowers and that all around her next is this one which is quite dark shading on her hair um, but that's not really a problem you can get over that you can it is quite colourable over you could use um, markers if you wanted to which would show up quite well um, I always use pencils and they still come out really really good and again you've got the shading where to put things the next one is this lovely lady and she's taken up like most of the page um, so there's not a lot of background on that one um, and again you've got the shading and the flowers oh, there's the book on the floor um, you've got the shading and the flowers and some you know it's not too dark on her hair on that one then you have this lovely lady with butterflies and flowers again she's got some quite dark bits in her hair which you could do markers or you could do pencil um, or you could, could use anything you want actually you could use paint you could use you know any medium you want really on this um, she looks like she's got a little bit of a sleeve on that one which looks to me like it could sort of be I would colour that as a sort of see-through um, sleeve um, so a very thin see sleeve see-through and I'm going to do a tutorial on how I do that on mine um, very soon right, the next picture um, is mostly taken up she's sort of central to the left a little bit and um, with her arm up and a lot of the background is taken up with her hair and lots of flowers next one 
is this one with short hair um, and she has roses around her and there's a little bit of background there which you could paint or you could you know do sky or do whatever you wanted with that um, they have got lovely eyes and lovely eyelashes so they'll be really good to colour um, and I do like when they put the shade in sort of under the lip and the I don't know what it's called Cupid's bow is it called I think I'm not sure um, I do like when they do that and then they put the shade in there so that would be a great one to do the next one we have the lady and she's got um, I can't think what they're called are they lilies or iris I can't think um, but she's got flowers um, and she's got a floral stripy dress on as well um, and her hair's not too dark to do next one is a lady with butterflies um, quite a bit of sort of open background there that you could do something with if you wanted to or you could just leave it blank um, she's got lots of butterflies and lots of sort of poppy looking flowers um, around her excuse me my dog's just choking herself in the background as she does um, then we have this lovely lady um, again very long hair which is great for practicing your hair um, and sort of quite a lot of skin to practice your skin and again surrounded by flowers with just a little bit of background then we have this lady posing very seductively um, she's surrounded by flowers and again I do love that there's not too much background um, I know some pictures hi Lily some pictures are you get an awful lot of background and if you're not familiar with backgrounds and you don't really know what to do with it Lily it can be annoying just like this cat <laughs> and um, you're coming back the other way now go on then um, is there a tail in the way yes it is move over there Lily and um, so yeah these are great if you don't really know what to do with backgrounds this one um, um, it looks like a Christmassy one to me I'm sure this is a Christmassy one because um, you can I remember you can buy this as a single um, PDF picture if you'd like um, these she's got the poinsettia around her and that would look great for Christmas and you could do this as snow rather than bubbles it would look great this one's got really really dark hair um, so I'm not really sure what I would do with that I'll see when I come to it um, I'm sure I could, could get pencils over there somehow or I could use a marker I use pro markers um, I'm not really a marker person but I do have quite a lot of pro markers um, so I'll see on that one and of course they are one, one sided as well so that's great uh, this one she's got a basket in front of her that's full of flowers and again like, like most all of his pictures not a lot of background to do anything with which is really great um, so yeah another good one this one again is only sort of this bit here the rest is black you could actually um, posca the rest of the background black to match what's already there um, don't know why he didn't do it all but it didn't great way to do the hair and lots of skin there to practice on and flowers this one is lots of lovely long hair not too dark a shade in this time roses and all sorts of flowers around her and flowers across her forehead um, love the shading great shading and love the hair what a great one to do um, this one is sort of a bit plainer um, you know you've got her um, with a dress on that's sort of slightly off of her shoulders um, her hair's not too dark there's not as much work gone into this one and it looks like sort of um, they look quite thorny um, I can't think what they're called but quite thorny bushes around her on that one this one is a landscape one um, where you have two women one's got a butterfly and the other one's got flowers tattoos on their arms um, great shading again you could um, 
they look as if they're naked but they, there you go you could actually do them two different skin colors so you could do a dark skin color and a really pale skin color or whatever you choose to do with but they would look great if you did them different mind out lily mind out come on right another lovely lady here with surrounded by flowers her eyes look a bit iffy on this one but I'm sure, you know, once you've got pencil or whatever you, your medium is on there, it'll look really great. And the flowers, of course, lots, always lots of flowers. That's why I liked flowers and gems, because there was just so many ladies and so many flowers. It was just great. Um, this one, again, she's got a tattoo on her shoulder. And flowers, lots and lots of hair. Um, great for practicing skin and hair. And these books aren't too expensive. Um, I did try and find a link for these because I bought them as a set. And they were a set of one each of the books. And they were both um, ring bound. Um, I did try to find a link for them for you. But um, the only link I could find to buy the two books together because this was a special offer. Um, they don't seem to do the ring bound ones at the moment. He might do like again later on, but there's a special offer on for the same two books, but they're not ring bound. They're just normal bind binded books. Um, but I will put a link to his store, and if you specifically want the ring bound ones, you can you know keep an eye on his store and see if he's got another special offer for two ring bound ones. I specifically wanted the ring bound because they're so much easier for me. Um, I usually colour on my computer desk because there's not a lot of room there for books and pencils and everything. So they're great that I can just fold them, you know, backwards over themselves and just work on one page. So that one's another great one. Again, this looks like bubbles in the sky here. Um, and she's got more roses. Great for practicing roses because there's lots of roses. I'm just keeping an eye on that it's in frame. Um, lovely eyes on this one. Lovely hair. Lovely one. Very pretty. Um, this one, she's got flowers in her hair. And she's actually smoking a cigarette, which I suppose shouldn't be advertising really. Um, but she looks like she's got like a negligee or something on and a little wrap around her. And she's got pearls and beads and lots and lots of flowers. So that's a good one. This one, she's got a headband on, and she's got lots and lots of curly hair this time, um, with a headband, and again, the lots of flowers, and again, not hardly any background at all. Um, another one with um, a lady in the middle with more flowers, and again, not a lot of background. Um, you could go in between with a black Fosca pen if you wanted to, um, or any other colour. I've got lots of different colour Puskas and I have gone in between different ones before with different colours. So that's possible. Um, this one, she's quite pretty. Um, and she's got a scarf around her neck and lots of leaves and flowers and that as well. And I think that is it, guys. That's that for that one. Um, so that's my review and flip through of Grazia Salvo, Kindness, the Women of Flowers Collection, um, Black Outlines Colouring Book. And I'll do the other book in a separate video. So thanks for watching. Bye.